here is a case of left supine PCNL with super perk 58 year old male patient complaining of left loin pain and fever for 15 days left DJ stenting was done outside for left pyelonephritis referred to us for further management if you see the x-ray KUB with stent in situ large burden is there in the inferior calyx and two stones are there in the middle calyx the CT is done showing the same we have planned for uh, flexible uteroscopy and supine PCNL ECIRS we passed access sheath after removal of the stent went in with the flexible uretroscope the moment we entered the ureter stone is seen that means from the inferior calicial it is uh, coming into the pelvis we bypassed the stone and entered into the upper calyx and injected the contrast like this with flexible uteroscopy this is advantage where with ureteric catheter it might have not filled so well the middle calyx we thought middle calyx is easy this is the puncture which is directed more posteriorly initially to avoid coming anteriorly purposefully needle is punctured more posteriorly like this but still it is falling in zero degree on the calyx but when we move the CM 30 degree towards our side it is coming more lateral that means it is superficial when you move the CM cranial like this it is going towards the head end that means it is superficial then needle is withdrawn and turned anteriorly so that it will reach the calyx in 30 degree and now it is falling in the calyx that means it is the water has come then the guide wire is passed super perk sheath is used 15 French and inserted in a single step because of the kidney mobility left hand is used to counter act now the water is coming freely 12 French nephroscope is passed and along with it suction is attached the major advantage in a hard stone particularly large burden when we are breaking automatically the fragments of large size because size is 15 French they are coming easily into the central part in the super perk now this is a reasonably large fragment almost in the entire procedure forceps was not used now this is the empty pelvis now we went into this is a flexible uteroscope from below this is the upper calyx where one stone migrated even if it is not removed by supine we might have taken help of flexi but uh, luckily this was sucked out from the upper calyx now we are trying to see the this is the uh, upper calyx completely visualized from the supine PCNL track now we are coming back to the pelvis and then inferior calyx a large stone is seen entire inferior calyx can be visualized and uh, stone broken into the pieces even deep inferior part of the inferior calyx one stone was there without using the forceps by gentle readjustment of the ampla sheath towards the line of the stone large fragments have come out this is a deep inferior part here also the forceps was not required because of the suction and continuous irrigation with flexible uteroscope helped a lot this is the edematous mucosa in the inferior calyx at the end now we are inspecting all the parts and RGP is done with flexible uretroscope so in selected cases flexible uteroscope ECIRS and supine PCL are helpful